Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. If you haven't already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Let me know what you got in your BoxyCharm as well. Um, I got a BoxyCharm. I, they sucked me back in because they offered me 50% off the cost of the box. So it was like $13 with tax, which was a great price, you know, not especially when you think that's 25. And then they had the pop-up coming up and $10 credit in the pop-up shop and I thought you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna try it um, so yeah you have a bonus video today because of this I already cut the thing off we have the little uh, card my I know that they said there's something about this so it's C210 5095 BA I think the BA means base so for $13, I don't have my expectations up. I saw some really great things like people were getting Murad and just all types of fabulous things. So I'm fingers crossed that I get something um, good that I will actually use. The first thing is from HelloFab. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer, which I won't use because coconut breaks me out. So um, that's a little sad, but um, yeah. This retails for $30, not too bad. I mean, $13, not, don't have like high expectations. Um, I'm not trying to get a lot of value out of this. Then I have from Ciate London, London. This is the Shadow Flip Multi Chromatic Shifting Liquid Eyeshadow. And I, I don't think I'm going to keep this because I, I'm so nervous about liquid eyeshadows. I have really sensitive eyes and there's something in a lot of the glitters, like the binding agent that causes reaction and burns. Like I had this experience back in junior high when Claire's had all the glitter and I got it and I had like bright red streaks where I put glitter on my face and my mom was like, you're, ret you're taking this back and they're like, but it's against her policies. And it's like, look at her cheeks. She obviously has an allergic reaction. Um, and they finally did. She was definitely a Karen that day. So, um, this is kind of an interesting shade. It's supposed to be a shifting formula. Uh, so I don't know if I use that color anyway. So no big loss there. Then we have, oh, I should tell you the price. That retails for $20. Then we have from Beauty Creations. This is the Flawless Stay Hydrating Primer. Fresh, oil-free, dewy finish. Dewy finish always makes me kind of nervous. Oh, it's sealed and I don't have scissors with me. Okay, so it is in a pump, which is nice. I will give it a try. I don't think it should probably hurt. It doesn't say that it has like coconut or anything in it. So there is the first item that I am keeping. That retails for $15. So not, not too bad of a price. Then we have from Tarte, this is the Shape Tape Glow Wand. Is this a highlighter or a, well, I guess it has to be because four ways to glow, okay? That does not look like a shade that will work for me. It is much darker than my skin tone and I'm trying to get away from darker highlighters. I have a whole bunch that I'm working on a declutter. Yes, I have, I have a, declutter like blush and highlights to declutter but I don't know when that's actually going to get filmed so this retails for $27 I wish they would have let us choose or maybe that's even the lightest shade I'm going to take it out of the package but I'm not going to open it um yeah like look at how much darker it is and I have my darker foundation on today usually my foundations are a little lighter than this um so that will be passed along too which leaves us with our last product which is from hey honey i love hey honey this is the come clean propolis and mineral face scrub that sounds awesome i love face scrubs i have so many face scrubs now like i was i had used them all up and now i have like a whole bunch that i found and that I've gotten in boxes and stuff. So cleanses and exfoliates with the power of propolis and fruit extract. So it sounds non-abrasive, dissolving salt crystalline minerals, clear away your rough patches and blackheads. Okay, interesting. 
I will definitely give this a try. It's sealed, so I can't smell it. I wonder if it's going to smell very, like, acidic. This retails for $30. So, for a $25 box, would I be happy with this? No. Because there would only be two products that I'd actually use. Um, I'd use the face scrub and I'd use the pr uh, primer. The other ones, um, this is not the right shade for me, but they might not even have a lighter shade than this one, to be honest. Uh, this one, they couldn't know that I, you know, that I break out because of coconut. Although a lot of people break out uh, for co because of coconut. So I would have thought that they would maybe not take that into consideration if you are oily combo acne prone, which is on the quiz. Not that they follow the quiz. And this, this is another one. I'm just nervous. Like this could be perfectly fine. I don't think I've tried any Ciate products, but there's some of the other ones. I passed it all on all of them because I had reactions. For $10 or for $12.50 plus tax, do I think this was worth it? Yeah, I, I don't mind paying $13.00 for the Hey Honey and the primer. It does make a difference that I got the $10 off for my boxy pop-up haul too, so that helps. I will be filming that haul whenever that comes. That hasn't been shipped yet, but now I am going to go cancel this before I forget and get charged $25 for next month because I, I don't think I've seen any spoilers for next month, but honestly, I haven't had any FOMO from not having boxy having canceled it in november and yeah no qualms at all i'm going to do a little story time really fast if you haven't if you've already heard this then go ahead and have a wonderful day i hope you all have a wonderful day if you haven't heard why i canceled my boxy charm just you know then keep watching so I was really happy, like November was one of the best boxes of all time. Had that Natasha Denona palette, um, the palette, whatever it was called. I can't remember what it was called, but it was kind of, you know, just a beautiful palette. I was so excited for that. Had a great box. December looked really good. I signed up for Lux in November because the December one was going to have uh, good jeans from Sunday Riley in it. And I was super excited to be able to get that in my box. And that stuff is so expensive. It, it paid for the box. So I was excited. And then I got an email that said, Oh, you're, it's your lucky day. We're going to charge you for the September Lux box. And then next week you'll get your December. We'll charge you again for your December Lux box. And I was like, wait, what? There was no opt out option. It was, Oh, it's just your lucky day. We're, you know, we're going to give you two Lux boxes. So we're going to charge you a hundred dollars within the space of two weeks. And I was like, wait, what? No, I don't have an extra hundred dollars. There's a reason why I didn't get the um, base, the Lux box in September. Cause one, there wasn't anything that I was interested in. And two, like I have been struggling with employment this year because I lost my full-time job and I don't have an extra hundred dollars on top of the $25. So it was, you know, just basically they're gonna take $50 plus tax out of my uh, account without any option. So I was like, no. So I canceled my Lux box immediately. And then I was like, you know what? I'm canceling my base box too, because I just, I don't want the possibility of them to still um, charge me for it. So I canceled and then I've been watching ever since then. Janu uh, December, I mean, the good jeans was something I was interested in, but I had gotten it in November's boxy pop-up. So it actually worked out. Didn't need to uh, get the Lux box anyway. January, February, March, April. April was a little tempting because of the Natasha Denona palettes. And then I realized I had the colorful palette. I had four of the five shades between my Love palette and my Tropic palette. So I didn't need that one. And the other one had a lot of nice shades, like shades that I don't have because I don't have any of those palettes. But they weren't shades that I really gravitate towards. So that FOMO was quashed uh, once I realized that. And then May, I was not really impressed until somebody was like, hey, I got this email. And I was like, wait, I think I got that email too. And Boxy Pop-Up was kind of tempting. So I did, I basically subscribed for Boxy Pop-Up 
So I paid $3 so I could have access to Boxy Pop-Up, basically. Anyway, let me know how you are doing. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.